Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to solve the following problem. Suppose x1 and x2 are real valued random variables with f as their common probability density function. x1 and x2 is therefore a random sample of size 2. We'll have to find the expected number of observations in the sample that fall within the interval 0 to 3. So basically, if both x1 and x2 fall between uh, 0 to 3, then in that case, the random variable uh, that we are interested in takes value 2. If one of them takes a value between 0 and 3, uh, then the random variable that we are interested in takes value 1. And if none of them falls in the interval 0 to 3, then the number of observations in the sample that fall in the interval takes value 0. So we want to find what is the expected number of observations that falls in this interval. In order to do so, we will define indicator random variables in the following way. So let i1 equals 1 if x1 belongs to 0, 3 and 0 if that is not the case and i2 is defined in exactly the same way takes value 1 if x2 belongs to 0 to 3 and 0 if that is not the case. We are interested in the expected value of n where n is i1 plus i2. Notice that n will take value 2 if both i1 and i2 are 1 that means both x1 and x2 are between 0 and 3 and it will take value 1 if one of them takes value 1 and the other one takes value 0 and it, it takes value 0 if both of them takes value 0. So basically both x1 and x2 lies outside the interval 0 to 3. So if you are interested in finding the expected value of n, we can simply use linearity of expectation to do it. So expected value of n equals expected value of i1 plus expected value of i2. Since x1 and x2 have the same distribution and they are distributed according to this uh, density function f, therefore expected value of i1 will be equal to expected value of i2. So you can simply write it like 2 times expected value of i1. So all that we need to do is we just need to find the expected value of i1, find the expected value of n and then we are done. In order to find expected value of i1, we are going to use the definition of i1 here. So what is i1, i1 takes value 1 if x1 belongs to 0 to 3 and it takes value 0 if x1 does not belong to 0 to 3. So expected value of i1 equals 1 times probability that i1 equals 1 which means 1 times the probability that x1 belongs to 0 to 3 and plus 0 times probability that x1 does not belong to 0 to 3. So if you find this, uh, well, that's easy, that's simply the integral of the density f from 0 to 3. And we're just going to take this expectation of i1, plug it here and we'll get 2 times integral from 0 to 3 fx. That's the expected value of it. Thank you.